Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. It's Chrissy Sawyer here to do a March reading for you. Um, everybody seems to be in some really big shifts at the moment. So we're going to read current energy, what the shift is and what is coming in for you. So what's the new energy that's coming in with spring, spring fever. Um, so we'll begin. Capricorn, you have three cards for your current energy. And it looks like overall you're coming into a deeper truth about yourself and about what you want. What, I mean, what you really, really want. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. And if anybody can go the distance, it's Cappies. Um, you have resilience and tenacity to begin with. And it's coming in on this beautiful gateway energy. Um, you're building something new and you might feel a bit kind of between worlds at the moment. And what I'm getting is the decisions, because Capricorn is a very physical earth sign. And it's almost like your decision-making process is changing from logical, reasoned, need, want, to something more feminine. It's almost like you're coming from a different place. Like, so I'm seeing a lighthouse that's shifted its light. So it's, it's pulling in from a different place. It might be that you're listening to your inner voice much more. And so for a period of time, things may not make sense in the traditional Capricornian way. Because Capricorn is being dismantled by Pluto in the big picture. So tradition and, you know, all of that stuff. I'm not going to get into it. Um, how we've done it in the past, really. And when this card fell out, there's no place like home. I heard really loud and clear, oh, this is all very nice, but actually it's not what I want. And it was one of those Uranian revelation messages. Holy tish, this isn't what I want. I've created this, I'm not sure it's what I want. Okay, so still in the current energy. I mean, literally, are you thinking about moving home? Because it could be that simple. In the internal landscape, we'll see what other cards come out, but it's time to go. It's time to leave something behind, it feels like. So you're already in the decision-making process in your current energy. It feels deep thoughtful i'm not experiencing any stuck energy here there's a kind of willingness bordering on defiance here all right so in the shift in the middle look at this this is the divine feminine it's it is where you walk to the edge of your known world and you just listen, just listen. Listen to the inner voice, listen to the gut and the heart. And what does your heart want? So there's gonna, so in the shift as your life turns, as everybody is, right, this spring is very powerful. There's a new moon this week as well, very powerful. And there's a dissolving with this energy, with this come to the edge. There's a dissolving, which is following on from the time to go. There's something to let go of here, but that's effortless letting go. It's effortless. And this might be your revelation. So you got the sense of it was no place like home and 
is this what I want or this isn't what I want? And here's like the, is, this is like a window into the soul, a window into the true path, into why you're here. And this card has been out so much for the March readings, I can't tell you. And it's about removing the mask. This card and all that glitters is not gold. <laughs> My mask is not me, it's that kind of energy. It's taking the mask off and walking to the edge of your world to become a truer expression of who you are. And this might be a challenge for you, Capis. I think, are you cardinal earth? <laughs> be immovable. This might be a challenge. This might feel like, so you know, as we leave a traditional dogmatic belief, then maybe nothing to replace it at this point, or you may have already built the blueprint for what you want to replace it with to elevate the conversation, to elevate the interaction with life. And the flexibility will come in the experiencing of something new, strange, alien, uncomfortable, and staying flexible with that. Okay, because we, we haven't fully built the foundation of these big changes. We haven't fully built, we have to experience it. So we've been doing all the work internally with the mental and the emotional for the last two years. And here we come into like the proving ground. So this is the physical, this is the last gateway is when we make a different movement, is when we make a different sentence, when we, we manifest in a different way. So that's the commitment to the internal change. Because we can talk about uplifting our internal conversation, but until we try it and mess it up or get it right, <coughs> we don't know how that's going to go. All right, so that's your shift. So the shift is, is the edginess of seeing our truth and remaining flexible in that, okay? And what's coming in for you on this beautiful magical seven energy is literally Pisces. <laughs> and uh, we have a Pisces new moon. Uh, if you follow Western astrology, if you follow sidereal, it's going to happen in Aquarius. But either way, it's, uh, it's the deep cosmic waters. It's priestess energy. And it's allowing yourself to be guided. See, this is like the inner compass here. And it's allowing yourself to be guided by your higher self your deep feelings, trust. It's about knowingness. You know when you know, you know when you know. But sometimes tradition and dogma and belief get in the way of what we know and so we lie. It's fine, <laughs> it's fine and it's not. And we have the divine timing card or the impatience card, it depends where you're at. It depends how flexible you're being with this. Okay, tick tock. Well, that's interesting. I'm getting the all that glitters is not gold overlaying onto this. It's like that nine is going to dissolve the mask. And Treasure Island wants to speak about it's about uncovering gifts that are within you. And the island is about how alone you might feel in that. Because if what you're discovering or excavating here is your difference, a new kind of difference, because you're coming to the edge, telling the truth or realizing the truth, <laughs> communing with your higher self, all in divine timing, 
there may not be many people around you who are doing that kind of work and you, there may there may be an aloneness i'll pull another card on this in the dissolving of the mask to release the treasure that's within you there's a determination coming out in this now i can feel a determination feels like the King of Swords, just rising up above the noise to look at the bigger picture. Okay. Um, can I have a clarifier on Treasure Island, please? Yeah. What are you doing? Capricorn, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were completely magical beings. So this is me breaking down my traditional beliefs about Capricorn. But the energy that's coming in here is Magi. Right, a lot. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read them all. So this treasure island in divine timing is the creation of something new that's coming from within. It's coming up from the deep waters of an earth sign. And the first three cards that came out, <laughs> magic, chaos, and manifesting dreams. I'll show you the images as I speak through them. So the flexible card is really going to speak into hmm. P.S. Otter's mate for life, I'm just saying. That's confirming, stay flexible. It's okay not to know. We can turn uncertainty into curiosity. We can put it on the back burner and just trust that all will be revealed in divine timing. Sometimes we don't get lessons until years after something's happened because cycles operate within cycles within cycles, okay. And we're definitely in that time. So uncertainty is okay. It's, it may not feel very good. And the last three cards. Purity, new beginnings and knowledge. Okay. So the knowledge is speaking straight to this. The new truth. Look at the images. You might be feeling quite emotional. You might be feeling quite deep and watery. How interesting. There is no better card for spring. It's literally got daffodils on it. Ten is initiatic it's it's the beginning and the end simultaneously it's that can be revelations ideas coming it feels quite uranium ideas coming out of the blue so that might be this change energy is the this dawning realization i create this lovely thing i'm not sure it's what i want and that might take you into your heart ask your heart ask your heart 
In the heart, there are only answers. In the head, there are only questions. The purity is in the heart. It's coming in on that nine, dissolving, dissolving, dissolving. Yeah. Dissolving structure, old belief systems, limitations. Capricorn, it looks like you're stepping into your magical self. Hello. Whatever next? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Surrendering outdated beliefs about yourself. Letting go of limiting ideas that originate from the past. Then owning your power and soaring in life. And um, yeah, I was, I, I, I hope I'll have time, but I wanna make a new moon video. Um, my guidance to everybody this week is to rest. It's a big week, so definitely sleep and rest. Dun, dun, dun. It's happening. Double confirmation is happening. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's sense of timing. <laughs> if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust in universal flow. So universal flow is going to come out of this because it's moving through you. So tuning into that. Drops the mic. Cracking reading. Okay, let's wrap this up with an abundant card please for Capricornia. Okay, do we want all of us? Oh gosh. Okay. Oh wow, right. This is big. There's two timelines here that have come out for you. Um, and it's like, if I didn't know better, I would say this work is happening in the personal and in the collective. Because this is what you're doing. Wow. So you, I think you're serving the collective at the moment by clearing old Capricornian karma. reframing it in this flexible realization of truth and actually I don't think that is for me to move into inner power freedom and individuality walking your own path not guided by outdated outmoded belief structures wow Releasing yourself from past bonds. That's what this is about. That's what that karma clearing is about. You might be in something quite deep. Just getting, it might be a good idea to move the body because for an earth sign, that kind of stagnancy of being in the deep water can create stuck vitality. So dance like nobody's watching that would be my best advice capricorn amazing work absolutely amazing work look this is what you're doing reweaving the web restitching the dna there's nothing from a past life that cannot be addressed in the current life so it's the reweaving of it it's the upliftment amazing yep go the distance stay with it stay with it surrender to divine timing there's a really big shift happening for you here it's wonderful there's no deep heavy energy here it feels resolute nice resolute Okay, Capricorns, take care of yourselves. Um, please drop me a like, share, subscribe. 
hit all the buttons and um, I will see you again soon. Good luck. Bye.